So I'm Lisa Klein, I'm the Director of Total Health Physical Therapy, and what we're going to go over today are a few of the simple home program um, points that we give patients to process in between their treatment sessions, and we found that these are very helpful when patients are recovering from an injury or a trauma, and they make it so that their, pro their progress when we work on them is actually a little bit faster because it makes things continually in motion. So the first one that we um, give to patients is something called um, taking the area where the problem is to the area of the body which is um, around the area of the ureters. So the ureters are the tubes that go from the kidneys to the bladder and they are kind of deep in there but we access them by putting a hand on the lower back and the small of the back. So what we do is when we have patients who come in who have you know headaches or pain or whatever we want them to have a way of continuing to bring the inflammation down in between, in between treatment sessions. So what we have them do is put a hand on wherever part of the body is bothering them. So what we would do is say the this patient's way? coming in with headaches, we'd have the patient put a hand on their head and the other hand across their low back, and you can use the back of your hand. You can use the back if you want to. If it's, yeah. And it seems like a very simple thing to do, but what we found, and we've actually done um, trials with this with um, the neurofeedback uh, leads on the head so we see changes in brainwave function, it's fascinating. But when you have a hand on the ureters, what you're doing is you're cueing the body to, to uh, drain fluid because the ureters, they have the fluid that comes down from the kidneys before you pee it out. So basically what they do is they drain fluid out, they help in that process. So what we do is we have the patient put a hand on their head and then the other hand across the low back. And again, it seems like a very simple thing to do, but it's very helpful in getting fluid to start to flow out of a certain area. So we'll have the patient hold in the, this position for about 20 minutes. I tell my patients this is their official excuse for watching TV because you can say you're doing your homework from your physical therapist, so that's fine. You can watch all the, all the homeland you want. So, <laughs> Can you do it laying in bed? You can. It's not as comfortable because of your, if your shoulder is okay with that. But oh. yes, you can lay laying down, sitting up, whatever. You, there's no positional issue there. All right. Say if you're coming in with, um, you know, a lot of difficulty in the chest, for whatever reason, you can put a hand on the chest and a hand on the ureters. Um, you can also do this. This does help move emotional issues out um, when things are really not moving. So if you've had a hard day at work and you're emotional, you can put a hand on the heart and a hand across the low back. I had a patient who came in the other day that saying his heart was broken. Poor thing. Oh. So we sat there and processed his heart a little bit to help him out. And um, so any area, you can, you can do it on the belly, just any area where you're having an issue. So you put a hand on the area of the issue and the other hand across the low back. And what my patients will say is that it may take, you can relax your arms, that it may take a few times doing it, but after a while they actually feel something. They feel heat coming out, they may feel tingling, they get very tired, they get very relaxed. So if they don't feel anything the first few times, I just say, you know, just stick with it anyway, just do it and because um, it does make it easier for me to treat them. But after a while, every patient who's come in says, mm -hmm. oh, you know, I really was just getting tired and I was relaxed and I felt this and I felt that. And once they know that it actually does something, they end up, you know, processing their husbands and their kids. Mm -hmm. So it's a very nice kind of tool to have. So again, the first thing that we're gonna teach you is for first aid, Wherever you're having the issue, you put one hand there and then the other hand across the low back and you'd hold for about 20 minutes. So another processing area that we give to patients when they're recovering from an injury or a trauma is to process the heart. The heart, as you know, is the center for many things in the body. The main thing, obviously, being circulation. So often when you have an injury or a trauma, you want the circulation to that area to normalize whether increase it, decrease it, you want it to be back to normal. So wherever you're having an issue, I have a patient now who just had a total knee replacement that's not doing so well, so for her, we'll give her one hand's on the knee and the other hand's on the heart. And what that, sh what that will do is start to normalize the communication between the area where the issue is and the, the circulation, okay? It's kind of a strange concept, but every part of the body is always communicating with every other part of the body and that communication needs to be in the category of normal. So too much communication is not good, too little communication is not good. It's like you're at a dinner party 
and everybody needs to be talking nicely with each other. You know, if, if two people are yelling or if one person isn't talking at all, that's not good. So we want you to be having a happy dinner party in your body. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. It's a very social way of treating <clears throat> that we have here. So uh, what we do, again, is you would have, for this technique, you would have a hand on the heart and then a hand on an area of the body where you're trying to improve the circulation. Um, this is great for people who have had infections, um, swelling that won't go down. It is, it is good for headaches. We're going to cover that actually in a minute for headaches. But um, after you've had any kind of surgery, when that area needs to have the circulation restored to normal. And the thing about the heart is that it is not only the center for circulation for the body, I mean, it's hugely important for life. I mean, just everything about your life, it should be kind of affecting your heart. So many people as they go through life, take hits, you know, you have issues and yada yada. So the heart really takes a hit. So. Um, referring back to the first video, one thing that you can do that's very therapeutic is a hand on the heart and a hand on the ureters, like we talked about. And that's a really nice way to kind of drain anything that may be affecting your heart and help it to move out. And it's just, when people do that, it, I cannot tell you, it's just, I'm getting relaxed right now. Aren't you getting relaxed? <laughs> False. Um, I haven't done that enough yet, but I'm, uh, I It's very you. relaxing, all right? So especially when somebody's been through anything that's traumatizing. We, we do a lot of hard work. It's very helpful. And how long would you hold this? So when we do these points, we hold them for about 20 minutes. Oh, okay. And patients have asked me, well, what if you sneeze or cough? You know, it's like, that's fine. You don't have to start over again. You just pick up where you left off. But also, when patients are processing, often they find areas that feel really relaxing. Like the heart, to me, feels really, really good. And so I could do this for hours because it's just super relaxing for me. So again, it um, does feel good actually. Isn't it really? yeah. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Children love this. This is great for boo boos. You know, the younger, the more open they are. And when you work on kids, they just, they just get all melty. <laughs> yeah, if you ever want to relax a child, this is a nice way to do that. Mm. So the next connection we're going to go over is something that most people um, really like to do because it's helpful. Is if you want to improve the functioning of your frontal lobe, which is where memory, cognition, concentration, all these things are in this part of the brain. And for most people who come in, again, we have a very detailed intake form. Eight times out of 10, people fill in, they have difficulty concentrating. It's just incredible. So what you would do for this one, you should have a hand across the frontal here, above the eyes, and then the other hand would be in that area across the low back, okay? And what you can do is you would hold then for about 20 minutes. This is also, it's, it's okay for headaches, but we're gonna go to a different one in a minute for headaches. This is wonderful for um, stress, uh, for difficulty concentrating, for you know difficulty with just any function of the frontals. If you take your pinky and actually drop it onto the bridge of your nose, at that point you're getting one of the access points for the limbic system. Mm -hmm. So if you have a rage issue, <laughs> it can be very helpful. If you're in a survival crisis, if you are just having a bad day, um, if you're having a temper tantrum, if people around you are having temper tantrums, this is the way to kind of kibosh that a little bit. It's quite lovely. So if your hands are ready here, you might as well do this because it's quite nice. So, and it's super relaxing. Um, it may help with sleeping, although we're going to cover another one in a minute. That's good for sleep. So this is just a nice way to kind of bring your, bring your brain back into calmness. So the next uh, point that we're going to go over the connection is something that again most people in Washington really need. I have to say, <laughs> not me. I'm never stressed ever. <laughs> but um, so most people who come in have a lot going on and they're a little bit stressed out. So it's the adrenal glands that process that stress and they produce cortisol and all those nice catecholamines and what they do is they perpetuate a stress response. So sometimes once you're in a stress response, it's sometimes hard to get out of it. So that's why processing the adrenal glands is very helpful. The only thing about them is that they're a little bit hard to reach, so I'll show you how to reach them. The adrenal glands sit on the kidneys like little hats, and when they're under load, they just scream bloody murder, and they just load, 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 all right? They love getting treated, love it. 
And with patients, when you do this, even if they are kind of hard to reach, you will feel yourself relaxing. So what you do is you would put a hand on your back, and it's about, for women, it's about bra strap level, because you want to be above the kidneys. So I usually use a big, my hand like that, and then my other hand across that small of the back area. And as soon as you touch it, often you can start to feel like, oh, I feel that's doing something. Mm -hmm. Again, not for me. Totally. So I'm never stressed. I am not kidding. <laughs> Do you yeah, feel that? Yes. And I'm not stressed too much. <laughs> <laughs> We're never stressed. But I can feel this. Yes, yeah, it's instantly. pretty cool. Yes. We do a lot of adrenal work. Adrenals take a hit big time. So stress is processed in the adrenals, period. So um, this is a very relaxing one to do. Very relaxing. It's great also for cardiac patients because you'll feel it in your heart. Your heart will start to calm. And it's great for children who have had trauma. Um, I had a patient yesterday who adopted a child from China at age four, and I was giving her this to do for him. He's doing better, but, you know, little boo-boos get so stressed out, so this is a really nice thing to do to calm them down. Now, so I'll show you, if you were going to do it on someone, I'll show you how you can do that. So you, you would just have your hands, you can take your hands down for a second. So you would just do like that. And you use the front of your, the palm of your hand if you're doing it on someone else. Again, for you, it's very hard to do it with the palm of your hand because the, the placement's so high. What was your question, Carol? You just answered it. I was going to ask you if another person could do that Absolutely. for someone else. Yes. And the more patients use the processing, they more, the more they do it on the people around them because you can start to say, oh, you're very uncomfortable. Let me help you. Know, let me help you. So, and I can't even tell you how effective it is with children, because children are so open and they love to be touched anyway, so you don't have any, like, you know, issues. And even I've worked on many, many autistic children, they love it. So even kids who you think are tactilely defensive, if you kind of start to work on them like this, it's usually, they are just totally into it. Mm -hmm. So the last one that we're going to do today is involving the back of the head, which is a really nice area to do for general calming down um, from a neuro perspective, neurological, but also it's great for headaches. One of the main reasons for headaches, whatever kind they are, is because the drainage of fluid is not so great coming out of the head. So the body's really good at making sure the brain has enough blood, but sometimes not so good at getting it out. All right, so and if anybody has eye headaches, pressure headaches, migraines, this is usually helpful. It may not fix the problem, but it may, it'll may it help take the edge off a little bit, or it should. So you have a hand on the back of your head, just right where your ponytail is. There you go. <laughs> and then the other hand goes in the back of the, the back here, on the small of the back. Okay. This is one that people often do when they're going to sleep because the sleep center is in the brain stem, that reticular activating system. So for people who are having a hard time getting to sleep, we'll give them this processing to do. Mm -hmm. And it may calm them a little bit. This is also a fantastic one to do for irritated children, or mm -hmm. irritated people in general, because it, it puts you into an immediate parasympathetic response. It, mm -hmm. It's a calming sensation, the back of the head being touched, okay? So often people who are agitated, you know, you can do that and see if that'll kind of calm them down.